guys. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be talking about um, some of you who may have been feeling lately that you're not feeling any hope when it comes to your acting career. And I think and feel that lately the actors that are coming into our community and start joining, that's a common thing that I'm starting to hear from people. Like you've been maybe in this business for a very long time. You've tried a lot of things. You've tried a lot of classes. You've you've been around the block and yet things are not happening yet. And you're not booking the kind of work that you want or you're not booking work full stop. And it can really feel sad and frustrating. So I'm seeing a lot of people with sadness, with anger, with frustration. And you might recognize yourself there and it's so understandable. You're very passionate about your are and your acting career you're really you know wanting to put yourself out there you're wanting to embody some characters and defend some stories and then it's a big gap if you're not booking or if you're not booking the type of roles that you want and you've been at it for a while it's been years and so you can start feeling some sort of of um hopelessness like like oh my god things are never going to happen and therefore the type of sadness or the type of emotion frustration and anger that you might be feeling even resentment i'm i'm meeting some people with some resentment too can start to really be painful and that's hard i get it it's definitely it's definitely something that's that's hard to feel and I would really love it if we can spend some time around this issue today to make sure that you're not completely disconnected from yourself and that you can um, find a way to actually um, get back into yourself first and then into your art and into your industry so that you can experience the pleasure of acting and the pleasure of booking again. So what's actually happening, you might feel that you're having no hope because you're not seeing any results. But what's actually happening usually is that when you've been at it for a long time and you've been working hard and investing a lot of time and money, what often happens is that because you're not having any results, you're thinking it's the results, but what's happening is that the emotion that you're carrying around, so the sadness, the anger, the rejection, the hopelessness, is actually sweating through everything that you're doing. So it's in your headshots, it's in your reel, it's in your appointments, it's in your meetings, it's in your tapes, it's in your auditions. And so when you're keeping that hopelessness, whether it triggers, again, sadness, emotion, resentment, frustration inside of you, and you're not dealing with that first, and you're not actually allowing yourself to feel the truth of where you're at right now, the authentic emotion that you're feeling in this present moment, and you're still trying to get out of the hopelessness by booking some jobs, by making some appointments, some meetings, by making things happen out there, Unfortunately, you're bringing that stuck and sticky emotion with you in a very unconscious way. And therefore, what you're spreading out is that and it's not your talent. So again, the problem is not the fact that you're not having any results. The problem is that you're not taking care of your authentic emotions in the moment, step by step in your career. You're stacking them down, you're pressing them down, you're shoving them down, you're repressing everything, and therefore, you're no longer in touch with your truth. You're no longer in touch with your talent. You're just having a stuck, stuffed energy and instrument that you're trying to act from. And that place that's full of sadness, emotion, like unprocessed emotion, there's nothing wrong with the emotion. But if you don't process it, if you don't live it, if you don't let it flow through you, well, it's stacking up and then that's all that people can feel. No matter how much you're hiding it, no matter how much you're trying to shove it down and repress it, you're acting, you're moving, you're meeting people from that place of hopelessness and they can feel it. Though they can't put their finger on it, they can feel it. That's the energy that's the most present in your meetings because that's the energy that's the most present in you. So what I'm trying to say 
is that you're feeling if you're feeling hopeless because you're not having the results that correspond to the type of investment in terms of heart of time and money that you put in your career the solution is not in trying to book the solution is not out there and trying to meet more people network more change your reel do casting director workshops no the solution is actually in taking care of you and no wonder that there's so many more actors moving through our system and that are coming in saying, oh my God, I feel so desperate and hopeless. I feel like it's never going to happen because in our conditioning, in the way that we're raised, we're always asked to repress emotion. We're always asked to keep our head out the water, to look strong, to be confident. And therefore, we're not asked to be an authentic. We're not encouraged to be our true selves, to actually feel what we feel, which is so essential as an artist, especially as an actor, because your responsibility is really about making sure that you can be comfortable with all the uncomfortable emotions so that you can portray your characters having access to all of your instrument. And if you're repressing and categorizing things as good and bad emotions in you and all of these emotions are bad, sadness, anger, resentment, I shouldn't be feeling them so I should hide them and kick them away. Well, what you're actually doing is they're cutting yourself off from your energy and from your instrument. And therefore, when you show up on a tape in an audition, a networking event, a casting director workshop, agent workshop, you name it, that is the only energy that's present in the room is all of that stuff that you're trying to hide with shame, right? So again, there's nothing wrong that you're doing. It's not your fault. That's the way we've been conditioned. We've been conditioned to not feel. We've been conditioned to just behave in a way that pleases others, which is why a lot of times as actors are masters at people pleasing. But that's definitely not where your genius is. It's definitely not where your talent is. It's definitely not where your flow and your pleasure is when you act. There's no, no pleasure in you hiding and being inauthentic with parts of your emotions, right? So what I'm inviting you to do is to actually be with those sticky emotions that have stacked up with the years. Be with them, no matter if you're really hopeless, if you think it's never going to happen, or if you think you have a little bit of that energy into your system, it's time to sit with it and to actually feel those emotions so they can move through you right? So you can integrate them into your system and then you can show up for your appointments and your meetings clear and unclogged. Right now your system is unclogged if you're having that hopelessness and there's no point trying to take action from that place. You want to make sure that you're feeling all of that, that you're processing all of that before you take action so that you're coming from a place of true energy, presence, to the moment and not presence to all that stacked energy from the past, right? And of course, if you need help to do that, send us a DM, a direct message. Um, where we are in the USA, but we're mostly online. Um, everything we do is online. So we have um, international actors from all levels around the world um, work with us. So yeah, make sure you connect with us. Let us know. If you have any questions about this in the links in the bio or in the about section on Facebook, you'll have a link to sign up on the wait list. If you would like to do this work, you can also grab a free training in our um, about section or link in the bio. Bio, it's called um, um, Stop Trying to Be a Good Actor So You Have a Chance at Being Great. And this will help you already um, move the needle with what I've discussed with you guys today. Um, I hope this was a helpful live. Um, let us know if you have any questions. That's it, you guys. All right. Thank you very much. See you on Wednesday. Bye.